But it's cool to be Greek, not so much because of all the success of the movie, The Big Fat Greek Wedding, not because of the success of the Olympic Games in 2004 in Athens, not because of every Greek festival you people have been to. It's always been cool to be Greek, and I'll tell you why, because of our faith. We are Greek Orthodox, and our religion is different than anyone else's in this room. I swear, every, because everything that we celebrate, we celebrate late. <laughs> We celebrate everything. We celebrate Easter a week after regular Easter. We're the only people who can make Jesus come back twice in the same freaking year. <laughs> celebrate a week after, two weeks, sometimes even five weeks after, which is great because our candy is so much cheaper. <laughs> of course, you want to get the broken chocolate bunnies that you bastards never buy. It took me 20 years to realize that chocolate bunnies do have ears. <laughs> I never got a fresh peep. <laughs> Remember marshmallow peeps? <laughs> By the time I got them, I can break windows with a damn thing. My mother screwed up every piece of Americana things that you people took for granted because you were born here. My mom screwed up. She didn't know. Screwed up things like the tooth fairy. <laughs> How can you possibly screw up the tooth fairy? I go, Mama, my tooth fell out. What do I do? Don't worry about it. I'm going to take care of everything. She takes my tooth, puts it into my pillow. The next morning, I look. I eat my pillow. I find my mother's and father's personal check for $10. <laughs> an idiot. I know what's going on. <laughs> I took that check down so I said, Mom, Dad, the tooth fairy is embezzling money from you and I. <laughs> she screwed up Thanksgiving. What is the number one ingredient to any Thanksgiving meal? Turkey. Turkey. Not in the Greek house. It's lamb. Lamb? Who the hell eats lamb on Thanksgiving? <laughs> We had lamb, moussaka, pasticho, dolmades, spanakopita, triopitas, feta cheese, and kalamata olives. Just like the pilgrims. <laughs> and when you're Greek, no one wants to trade lunch with you. It's cool. It's like a bad episode of Fear Factor. I'm in eighth grade. Bob, what do you got? I got a recipe sandwich. Nikki, what do you have? I have big sass. Sammy, what about you? I got salami cheese. Basil, what do you have? Woo! <laughs> a goat <laughs> fed. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Halloween, huge Greek holiday. Folks, I was born in the Bronx. And for the first seven years of my life, we lived in the projects. That's all my mother and father could afford. Halloween, we did not know what Halloween was. It was so dangerous, I didn't even go to school. I have like four or five memories of leaving the apartment. That's how bad it was. My father had to leave at 5 a.m. to actually go to work to so avoid getting stabbed and shot at Halloween. We didn't know what the hell it was. So. It wasn't until we moved to the suburbs. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Halloween is on my <laughs> I remember my mom running into the kitchen half out of her mind, like, what's the matter? It's like, the devil is outside! <laughs> and he wants candy. <laughs> Give him some. <laughs> Keep thinking Satan was out there going, I want a dizzy bar. <laughs> That following year, uh, it was a year went by, I'll never forget, man. I knew what Halloween was about, I was so excited. I wanted a costume so bad, I said, Mama, please, can I, can I have $10 to get a costume? $10? Are you crazy? $10 one time you want a costume? No, no! I will make you a costume. <laughs> A 
material shop. <laughs> Buys three and a half yards of this thick, clear plastic material. <laughs> brings it home, wraps me with it, gives me a bag. This was my costume. <laughs> my friends are confused. They're looking at Basil, what are you dressed as? I'm like, oh, as my mother's and father's living room sofa. <laughs> Get off me. 